Friday Night Blitz is sponsored by Fairway Meat and Grocery. We're the ADM student section and you're watching Friday Night Blitz. <laughs> Well, welcome into Friday Night Blitz. I'm Raina Garcia, joined by Jake Brandon. Jake, this week we had uh, two really talented teams in our game of the week. Yeah, so ADM, they made the jump from 3A to 4A this offseason. So they've played Norwalk before, but this is their first matchup where they're both at the same level. And it's two top 10 teams with a lot to play for. Unfortunately, this game of the week won't be featuring one of the best players in the state. ADM senior running back Brevin Dahl fractured his arm last week and is out for the season. It's hard. Uh, we've been playing football since we were little, and then our last season not being able to play with him is going to hurt, uh, not only on the field, but as a friend and as a teammate, it's going to suck. They were a great one-two punch. Um, obviously now with that, that second one's gone, next man in has got to come in there. I'm just trying to keep, on the, keep my mind on the positives right now. Um, just doing what I can to keep this team going. And even without me, there's no doubt in my mind that this team's still going to a really special place. With or without Dahl, Norwalk's preparations don't change. No, not at all. I mean, doesn't matter who you put out there, we're going to take care of it. They still have Aiden Flora. He's still really good. Um, and then they're going to put somebody else back there that can run, um, who, who also dimensions-wise is very similar to Brevin Dahl. Both teams are ranked in the top 10 of 4A. ADM is 2-1 and one and ranked 8th. Norwalk is undefeated and stands at number 2. Whoever wins this one will get a huge boost. They've always got great size. So, you know, we got a match. Hopefully our speed will be a good matchup for their size. So, I mean, just a, just a really good program. I think any time that, that you're trying to, you know, play somebody that's really good, uh, it, it, it always gets you amped up a little bit for, for trying to make sure that you, you match what it is that, that they have. Uh, they're a really good team. I'm excited. Uh, I think the whole team's excited. We're, we're going to bounce back from the loss and come back really strong, and we're ready. Game of the Week, sponsored by Fairway Meat and Grocery. Homecoming at ADM, let's do it. Nothing beats a top 10 matchup. First drive out of the gate, ADM ball. Hudson Schull takes the reverse, cuts back, and he will not be touched. Touchdown ADM, 6-0 Tigers. Second drive, Aiden Flora. Drops back to pass, a little quick RPO, finds Zach Lohman. He makes a few men miss, piles his way in, 13-0 ADM, and the defense was lights out. They blocked a punt, and then it's the very next play. Flora drops back, heaves for Tyler Gellar. Touchdown, 43 yards, 20. Zero ADM. Second quarter now. Hard to believe it took this long, but Flora running now. He wills his way past all the defenders in for the pylon. ADM rolls 47 14. All right, let's head to Valley Stadium where Dowling was hosting Waukee Northwest. The Maroons trying to stay undefeated. Could the Wolves ruin that tonight? Well, we'll start in the first quarter. Dante Cataldo on the keeper finds an opening and accelerates from there into the end zone. He goes for Dowling's first touchdown of the game, but the Wolves would respond. Sam Johnson lets it fly to Maverick Inman. He hauls it in for the score and the Wolves tied the game at seven with just a couple of minutes left in the first, but we'll move to the second quarter now. The Dowling offense was rolling tonight. Cataldo floats it over the defender to Will Leifker. Touchdown Maroons, and they regain the lead. And a costly turnover here on the ensuing kickoff would give Dowling the ball right back deep in Wolves territory. And Dowling would take advantage. Rashad Davis bouncing to the outside, makes a diving effort for the pylon and gets it. Dowling goes up 21 to 7, and the Maroons stay perfect through week four, getting the win over Waukee Northwest 31 to 17. Other Waukee. It's the Warriors hosting Valley. Warriors marching. Grant Gamble goes 10 yards for the score. 14 0 Waukee. Other end, Valley inside the five. Darius Mason powers his way in. That cuts it to 14 to 7. Now, Waukee on their own 20. They dump to Gamble. The junior escapes. Cuts, makes a man miss, makes another, another, 
He goes 65 yards inside the 20. They settle for a field goal, but Waukee blows out Valley 37-15. Well, we're going to take a quick break, but when we come back, we'll head down to Bondurant where the Blue Jays were up against one of the top teams in the state in Lewis Central. Ready for college football in Iowa with Cy Hawk Game Day. Join Local 5 every Saturday at 1030 when we break down everything you need to know before kickoff. Cy Hawk Game Day goes beyond the game with in-depth analysis of the teams, the keys to the game, and our picks on who's going to come out on top. Join Local 5 every Saturday at 1030 for an action-packed Cy Hawk Game Day. Cy Hawk Game Day is sponsored by Nissan. At Taco John's, we never judge a book by its cover. But if the cover is a one-of-a-kind flatbread coated in aged cheddar, crispy shredded potatoes, and our signature potato LA seasoning, we say judge the shell out of it. New Cheddar Crunch Tacos, only at Taco John's. You know, they say that friendship can be a tough nut to crack. But if you're lucky enough, you can find a friend to pick you up. Lift your spirits. Show you the savory side of life. But then again, <laughs> I reckon that's Fairway in a nutshell. Because at Fairway, you're family. We could tell you all about what makes Ford F-Series the number one trucks in America for 46 straight years. But why tell you when we could show you instead? Because in the Midwest, talk is cheap and actions speak. On the lake, on the job, or on the town. Choose the trucks that deliver on the claims. Ford F-Series is made for the real world. This is Chief's Kingdom. Get 3.9% financing for 66 months, plus up to 37.50 bonus cash on Ford F-150, official truck of the Kansas City Chiefs. In 1905, Boar's Head opened a family business based on a simple idea. Craft the finest delicatessen products possible, nothing less. Five generations later, we've never wavered from that commitment. Meats trimmed the old-fashioned way. Exceptional ingredients, time-honored recipes. If a product doesn't live up to our exacting standards, it doesn't carry the Boar's Head name. In a world where quality has come into question, know that you can put your trust in Boar's Head. Compromise elsewhere. If money talked, it would tell you about the premium ingredients on Taco John's Valuous menu starting at one, two, or three bucks. Hand-cut sirloin steak, crispy fried chicken, and fresh pico. And if your appetite talked, it would say cha-ching. The Valuous menu only at Taco John's. Let's look at our first play of the week candidate. It's Javon Sanders of Lincoln. Leaving everybody in the dust. 73 yards to open the game. Put Lincoln up 7-0 right out of the gate. Tune in later in the show to see. All right, well, let's get to Lewis Central at Bondurant for our both teams coming in 2 and 1. We'll start in the first quarter. When you got Titus Graham on your team, you should probably give him the ball as much as you can, and that's exactly what the Blue Jays did consistently throughout the game and here on that play. Then later in that quarter, Lewis Central strikes back with a touchdown of their own. It's Brady Hetzel connecting with senior Luel Maker in the quarter of the end zone with a spectacular toe tap catch. This game is tied at 6. Into the second quarter, Brady Hetzel with his second touchdown pass of the half, this time connecting with Owen Thomas to give Lewis Central a 13 to 9 lead, but the Titans weren't up for long. Titus Cram, he's going to be back at it again, punches in his second touchdown on the ground of the half, putting the Blue Jays back on top 16 13. And Bondurant Ferrar ends up getting the dub here 36 to 26 to improve to 3 and 1. Last week, Southeast Pole continued their dominance with a big win over Prairie in their first game at their new stadium. Dave Bingham has your Dome Dynasty recap. It's going to take everybody here. Okay, that's how that's how we roll here. Okay, it's going to take everybody in here doing your job to the best of your ability. Fast and loose, man. Fast and loose. 
Moberly. Quick pass. Caught by Zelinovic. Moberly back to pass. Looking left. Fires for Phillip. Phillip makes the catch, and he's driven out of bounds after getting the first down. Fakes to Phillip. Now throws it to Lundgren, who walks into the end zone for the touchdown. Good drive. Good drive. Good drive. Fourth and 14. Phillips fires for the end zone. Up for grabs. It's going to be picked off. Moberly has to keep it. Doing a good job of avoiding tacklers. Breaks it out to the outside. First down yardage and more. Moberly to pass. Again across the middle. Zelenovich right on the money. Vanderwerf again. This time he sheds some tacklers. Still on his feet. Kicks it outside. Beats everybody to the edge. Still on his feet. Moberly. Quick pass. Bultel again. He's wide open and he's in the end zone. 10 yard touchdown fling. That's a great read on the silver. Yeah. Yeah. All right, good Just job. Purple. Kelly with the give. Tripped up in the backfield. Moberly gives to Phillip. Phillip has running room on the right side. Shows his speed. Moberly sets up. Escapes danger, fires it. Complete to Lundgren. Moberly, quick pass, right side. It's complete. Plenty of running room. Cuts it across the middle. Inside handoff to Phillip. Good blocking up the middle. Cuts it back, still on his feet. Moberly looks left, pump. Fires again for Lundgren, and he's got him. Lundgren in the end zone for the touchdown. Moberly, heavy pressure, gets it off. Robbins blocking, racing down the middle, beating everybody down the hash line, down to the 30. Moberly sets up, fires end zone. Robbins makes the catch. Kelly with the give. Fumbles it. Looks like the Rams may have been able to get on it. Right before he went down, that ball comes loose, and the Rams have it. Moberly back to pass, looking left. As Zelinovic hauls it in. 26-yard touchdown strike to Sam Zelinovic. Pressure steps up, still looking, firing left sideline. Picked off. Threw it up for grabs, and it's picked off by Gay. Down the sidelines, he races inside the 20. It gives to Phillip, and he's in. A one-yard touchdown plunge by C.J. Phillip. Southeast Pope wins tonight over Cedar Rapids Prairie, 42 to seven. The Rams hosting Ankeny Centennial on homecoming. First quarter, not a ton of offense, so it's Hunter Chanthafon from 27. That's good, 3-0 Rams. Now Jags with the ball. Trayton Nave tips it, and Draven Woods picks it. That sets Southeast Polk up in the red zone, and C.J. Phillip finishes it. Two-yard score, 10-0 Southeast Polk, but Centennial hangs around. Trenton Smith, the quarterback, drops back. Screen pass, double screen pass, and he's off to the races. He won't be touched, 10-7, but Southeast Polk edges out Centennial in a close one, 24-21. Well, we've got plenty more to come here on Friday Night Blitz. On the other side of the break, we'll check in with Ames for our weekly Inside the Huddle segment as they remain on the hunt for their first win of the season. Sure, there's a lot to say about what makes Ford Escape and Bronco Sport part of the SUV lineup that leads in brand loyalty. But in the Midwest, words don't hold much weight. What really matters is what your SUV can do. On the go, in the city, and off the beaten path. Get an SUV that lives up to the claims. Ford SUVs are made for the real world. This is Chief's Kingdom. Get 3.9% financing for 66 months on a 2023 Ford Bronco Sport. Official SUV of the Kansas City Chiefs. We need to talk about Sonabello. We are getting rid of all of this 
all of this today. Ladies, this summer you can cover up or feel confident from head to toe with Sonobello. One visit, permanent fat removal. Look at this shape. My tummy is gone and my hourglass shape is back. Wherever there is excess fat, we can remove it. That's what we do all day, every day. Sonobello's board certified surgeons use micro laser technology to safely target and remove your diet resistant fat cells for good. I could actually wear a two piece after 25 years. I have one big regret. I didn't go sooner. Now, with our Best Body Summer event, you can schedule your free, no obligation consultation, plus save $250 off instantly. That's $250 off your stomach, hips and thighs, back, and so much more. Call 1-888-367-7922 or go to sonobello.com. Get 2.9% APR for 36 months plus 1500 purchase allowance on the 2024 XT5 and XT6 when you finance through Cadillac Financial. Inside the Huddle, sponsored by Des Moines Orthopedic Surgeons. Coming into week four, Ames High was still seeking their first win of the season, and the sense of urgency to get that win is continuing to grow, especially as we approach the halfway point of the season. <laughs> There's no doubt the Little Cyclones have a very tough schedule this season, facing two of the top 10 teams in 5A in the first two weeks, and most recently going up against rivals City High. You can't change the schedule. you got to deal with what you're up against, and we've taken on as best we can, and all we can do now is just learn from what we've messed up on. While it didn't result in a win, last week's game against City High was their best performance of the season so far. And we scored first, we were up 7-0, got a couple stops. You know, when that happens at any level of football, it just kind of allows you to settle down, relax and play with a little bit of composure, which our guys did. City High played, they played really well also. And, you know, we had two opportunities with the football in the second half in a tie game that we didn't convert and the City High's credit they did. So, you know, we're getting there, we're not over the hump yet. Another week means another opportunity to get over that hump. You know, we're learning some hard, valuable lessons. We're playing better football, even though our record may not indicate that, but we played some very good teams and um, hopefully that helps us out as we prepare for the next round of our schedule. But as the weeks go by, the team knows they've got to start piling up some wins and it needs to happen sooner rather than later. We already have, we have motivation right now that we just want to get that win. Like we've should, we're getting it, we're getting that win, no matter what. All right, the little Cyclones on the road tonight against Roosevelt. Would it be the night they get over that hump? Well, they got out to a great start again this week. Jamison Poe scores from 10 yards out to give Ames the lead. Now, later in the quarter, Cameron Cantonwine trying to reel in the snap, but check this out. He ends up turning it into a huge run, getting all the way to about the Roosevelt 10 yard line, and that puts Ames in good position to score. And hey, when life gives you a low snap, you just got to pick it up and uh, run with it. That's exactly what he did there making a play but hey they're gonna go back to Poe a nice second effort from him allows him to find some green on the edge and takes it in for the touchdown and Ames takes a 13 to nothing lead and he might as well just call this the Poe game he takes this one well over 50 yards all the way back to the house for a touchdown and the hat trick Ames finally getting in the win column tonight getting the dub on the road over Roosevelt 34 to 14. Anthony's homecoming against Johnston. Quiet first quarter until Kinnick Voss makes some noise. I bet his parents are Hawkeye fans. He gets the interception off the tip and sets up Ankeny in good field position. And they go to their tight end, Devin Akers, with the one-handed grab. And he got interfered with. What a catch. We might see that one again later. But Ankeny can't capitalize. They go back. Acres 
He can't haul it in. Just watch this. It somehow pops up to the Dragons for an interception. But then guess what? It's another interception for Johnston. This time it's Sam Sandvig for Ankeny returning it inside the red zone. They are fired up on the sidelines. Defensive battle so far, and that sets up Luke Anderson to take the QB sneak into the end zone. 6-0 Ankeny going to the half, and they hold on to win the slugfest. 16-10. Dave Bingham is up in North Polk for the Comet Showdown against Humboldt, and he's got your recap of the game. Week four, still not in district play yet. A 3A power, Derek Elman and his kids from Humboldt come down to North Polk. You know, they've been in the dome the last two years. North Polk, one of those teams knocking on the door. Go, go, Beautiful night in Holloman is North Polk taking on Humboldt. Both teams two and one coming into this one. A good measuring stick as we mentioned. And then right away the Comets D comes up big with a fumble on the first drive. Jess Phillips gets on it. And then the Comet offense goes to the ground. B.J. Tate looks really good in this one. Nice run here from B.J. And then Braden Foster finishes off the drive. Seven nothing Comets, Trey to Brink. First one over there to give him five. Good hustle, Trey. Both D's playing really well. There's Foster again from his linebacker spot. Still 7-0 in the first quarter. And then Isaac Zosky gets some time, buys some time, and finds Jake Howe. 70 yards. Beautiful. Hey, good shooting for week four. Still got it. Everybody's excited. The Cats get it going, though. Cohen Matson is sneaky good. Little lefty finds Corey Deepman. Deepman's a good player. Trying to get something here before the end of the half. Throws one up, but Nathan Feldman comes up with the pick here. Probably an option for play of the week on that one. North Polk continues to pour it on the second half. They give up a pick six, but that was it. 34-7 the final. A big win for the Comets over a power program. We'll get more of that, of course, on our Dome Dynasty social media. You can check that out tonight. And, of course, a full recap next week on the Friday Night Blitz. Back to you guys in the studio. All right, well, don't go anywhere because when Friday Night Blitz returns, we've got a few more games to get to, including Southeast Valley at Des Moines Christian. Wyckoff Heating and Cooling gives you peace of mind, as in no worries. It's knowing the Wyckoff family is standing by to help keep your family comfortable this season. It's knowing that Wyckoff always has competitive financing options to fit your family's budget, including no interest and no payments on any new installation. Peace of mind. That's what Wyckoff Heating and Cooling wants for your family. Wyckoff, for peace of mind under your roof. Visit WyckoffComfort.com. If you're like most people struggling with diet-resistant fat, then it's time to call Sonobello to remove it permanently and in just one visit. I struggled with body fat for years. With Sonobello, day one, all my unwanted body fat, gone. I would have never comfortably worn a dress like this. My stomach is now super flat. I feel amazing. I went from a size 10 
to a size seven. I have the flattest tummy that I've had in 25 years. Sono Bellows board certified surgeons use micro laser technology to safely target and remove your diet resistant fat cells permanently and in just one visit. I have one big regret. I didn't go sooner. Schedule your free no obligation consultation and find out how you can get $250 off instantly. Call 1-800-918-0483 or go to sonobello.com. Dear Detour, when life slings you mud, sling it right back. Stay strong. Toyota Trucks. Stop by your local Toyota dealer to find out your trade-in value today. Toyota. Let's go places. Our next play of the week nominee comes from Ankeny Devin Akers with that one-handed grab as he's falling down and gets the P.I. call. That is as good as it gets right there. Dwayne Christian hosting Southeast Valley tonight. Tay Platt starting off good. Finds Tyler Drefke for the first touchdown of the game, and they jump out to a 7-0 lead after the extra point. Des Moines Christian with the ball again here. Platt under pressure, throws a bomb downfield to Drefke once again. He makes the catch and gets taken down just short of the end zone, but that was one heck of a throw. Platt would find another target of his. Jay Kristenmacher for another touchdown, and the Lions extend their lead to 14. We'd see this connection later in the quarter, once again making the catch near the 30-yard line and just dashes all the way down the sidelines. He wins the foot race. Another touchdown for the Lions to make it 21 nothing. One Christian keeps their foot on the gas and handily defeats Southeast Valley 52 to 12. Earlham at home against Southwest Valley. Ryan Stiles, the quarterback, gets the snap and runs the ball all the way outside, and he's off to the races. 7-0 Earlham. Earlham's ball again, third down, and they hand it to Styles. He bounces outside. Nobody's going to catch him. 14-0 Cardinals. Now it's first and goal. Who are they going to give it to? It's got to be the quarterback, Ryan Styles, right? Right. He goes up the middle. Six-yard touchdown, 21 nothing. Still in the first. It's time for someone other than Styles to do something. They hand it to running back Caleb Smith, and he makes it 28-0. The fighting Brad Edwards take care of business, 60-14. The rail splitters were trying to spoil homecoming for Des Moines North last night. Check this out. You saw it earlier. One of our play of the week nominees, Javon Sanders, setting the tone for this game. Takes off, leaves everyone in the dust for a 73 yard touchdown to put Lincoln on top 7 nothing right out of the gate. And he had quite the night back at it later in the first quarter. Gets the carry again. That time for 14 yards out. No problem from him for his second touchdown of the night. But then the Polar Bears trying to get something going, but Lincoln spoils that with the interception from Leo Jones. Jones. The rails will go back to you guess it's Sanders there. He was just a man on a mission, a scoring machine, six touchdowns on the night. And Lincoln goes on to win big over Des Moines North, 56 to 6. Creston at Carroll. This one happens fast. Cale Turner runs it in for the Panthers, 7 0. Creston still in the first. Turner, the quarterback, he completes to Brennan. Hayes wide open over the middle. Nobody's going to catch him. 75 yard TD, 15 0. But what if I told you that's not the longest touchdown of the game? It's not this one either. Brandon Briley catches it, goes 57, makes it 22 0. What a big play. But here's the real one. Second quarter, turning to Turner to Carson Reek. 80 yards score. Creston stays hot. They win 50 to 21. We're going to take another quick break, but when we come back, Dave Bingham will catch up with our coach of the week.
We could tell you all about what makes Ford F-Series the number one trucks in America for 46 straight years. But why tell you when we could show you instead? Because in the Midwest, talk is cheap and actions speak. On the lake, on the job, or on the town. Choose the trucks that deliver on the claims. Ford F-Series is made for the real world. This is Chief's Kingdom. Get 3.9% financing for 66 months, plus up to 37.50 bonus cash on Ford F-150. Official truck of the Kansas City Chiefs. You know, they say that friendship can be a tough nut to crack. But if you're lucky enough, you can find a friend to pick you up. Lift your spirits. It's a home run. Show you the savory side of life. But then again, <laughs> I reckon that's Fairway in a nutshell. Because at Fairway, you're family. The new 2023 GMC Sierra AT4X is equipped to conquer the great outdoors or the great indoors. Welcome to the peak of premium off-roading or get 0.9% APR and no monthly payments until 2024. Plus get over 3,200 total trade assistance on 2023 Sierra Denali 5.3 liter V8 light duty models. He posts his thirst traps in a leather-bound album. If you call him, he'll answer the phone. He gets the early bird special anytime he wants. Florida wants to retire and move to him. He's Gary. And I'm your first golden bachelor. It's your At Local 5, our goal is to go beyond reporting the big stories. We value our community because we are part of it. We stand together on the issues that impact us. And make an effort to understand where you are coming from, your concerns, your stories. That's why we go where you are. We advocate. Celebrate. With you. And strive to be that familiar face that you trust. Local 5 News, your stories, our community. We are Iowa. Coach of the Week, sponsored by Wyckoff Heating and Cooling. The North Pole Commons cruise to victory tonight over Humboldt. We'll send it back out to Dave Bingham, who's with our Coach of the Week, Tim Tabrink. Back on the Friday Night Blitz, I think this is officially the Wyckoff's Heating and Cooling Coach of the Week, Tim Tabrink. He's way taller than me. Don't like that, but we're going to go with it. Hey, this is a good program you played tonight, and I know you guys are playing so well, your expectations are high, but... Yeah, I like the way the score ended up tonight. Yeah, the score was good. We know Humboldt's a tough team. They've had a lot of wins. They've learned how to win, and their kids know that too. And so we knew we weren't going to be able just to come out and hit them for a one knockout shot. It was going to be a four-quarter deal, and the score maybe not quite as indicative of the game. But our kids came to play. We got a lot to learn uh, and get better at, but at the same time, our kids made plays. How is it for you before you get into the district? Because I know it, it puts a lot more pressure on, you know, okay, these are the ones that matter, but what a schedule that you've, you've had to play. Yeah. And, and you've run the gauntlet on, on these games. You've had some wild things go on in these first four weeks. Yeah, you know, we had a tough uh, tough one last week. You know, you lose by one to a really good team that, that's really going to do great things in 3A. And uh, it's, it's getting us ready for district play. And we just try to take it one game at a time, and our goal is to be 1-0. and oh, And if we can do that each week, then good things are going to happen for us. How do you evaluate where you're at right now based on where you were thinking in preseason? Do you like where you're at? Things need to be cleaner. Or are you excited? Yeah, you we got a lot to clean up yet. But the, the, the nice thing is our, our kids come to work, and our kids want to get better. And they're, they're helping learning how to hold each other accountable. And the more they can hold each other accountable, the better we're going to get. When we get a chance to work with great programs, uh, it's really first class tonight with these, the, this team. Even in their 3A, they've just done a great job. But a lot of it's about family. And, I mean, we got to see Trey running around. What's going on with the perm? I mean, we got to break that down. He got, he got the high five. We're getting him on the highlights. But we're all about family here. What's going on with your son and the perm? You I know, mean, what, what was the decision there? You're going to ask my wife on that one. <laughs> all right. Well, it was, you know, it was fun anyway. But we appreciate you always having us out. Good luck down the line as you head into district play. And that's going to do it for our Friday night Blitz Coach of the Week, Tim Tabrink. All right, thank you. ADM is one of the best programs in the state, led by one of the best running backs in the state. Iowa commit Brevin Dahl 
But unfortunately, Dahl's high school football career has come to an end. In last Friday's game against Lewis Central, Dahl fractured his arm, ending his senior season prematurely. Dahl isn't letting his injury status affect the team. I'm just trying to keep on the keep my mind on the positives right now. Um, just doing what I can to keep this team going. And even without me, there's no doubt in my mind that this team's still going to a really special place. Because of this, something good will happen. And it's unfortunate that your high school career ends in the first play of the second quarter versus Lewis Central. But now you, now you truly become a team guy. Brevin was at the game tonight in good spirits, bouncing around the sideline, hyping up his team in a huge win over Norwalk. They really rallied around him. That was, that was cool to see. Yeah, you never want to see a player go down like that, but it's good to see, like you said, he's in good spirits. He's being around his team, and I'm sure that, that helps him, you know, to, to be around them. Well, it is time now to take a look around social media to see what people had to say about tonight's games. I know we had some really exciting ones, so let's take a look at what we got there. Let's see if our, our, our team can pull those up. All right, there, there we go. Okay, we're trying to see here, folks. It's kind of small. It looks like Nevada falls to Hampton, Dermont, Cal, 24-21. Nevada had a really good week last week. Yeah. So that's a that's an upset for the Cubs, but a big win for Hampton, Dermont, Cal. I guess we'll see what we have next. It is Woodward Granger over. Not away Valley 46 nothing. What a win. Yeah, dominant there. Well, it looks like we this is from our own Dana Cyril's. She was over at the Ankeny game tonight, and this was a pretty good one. If as we saw a close, close game, um, that but, one looked like the Cyhawk game from last yeah, week. Interception, did. interception, interception. Yeah, de defensive battle, if you will. Let's see what we got next. Another video from our Rachel Wenty there. She was at the uh, Ames Roosevelt game. We got to give a shout out to the little Cyclones getting their first win of the season. I talked to them a lot about that. They were just saying, you know, hey, we need to get over this hump. Once we do that, we feel like we can stack some wins and we can really um, get hot at the right time as we've seen teams do before. A rainbow is fitting for <laughs> Ames yeah. getting their first win of the season at the beautiful Drake Stadium. This is it's like Joaquin Northwest. Yeah, this is from their game against Dowling. This is the one um, I was at. And, you know, this game was kind of interesting because, you know, Joaquin Northwest had some really good chances, but unfortunately some costly turnovers allowed Dowling to really take advantage, and it just kind of made it hard to come back from. Uh, but definitely, you know, there is still a team on the rise. I, I wouldn't count them out at all. Yeah, both Joaquin schools look good tonight. Dowling made a statement. They are... Maybe back to the Maroons of old. Yeah, maybe. Well, we're going to take another quick break, but when we come back, we'll take a look at some of the most creative student sections in our fan cam. Plus, we'll introduce you to our fan of the game. This corner of the country, our corner, is ideal for growing many things, one of which has made Mid-American a national leader. Clean, renewable wind power, homegrown and harnessed from our very own backyard, generated from investments in wind turbines that help keep our energy rates low, investments that have created jobs, partnerships with landowners, enhancements to our communities, and have attracted new businesses to our state, to our corner of the country. Sure, there's a lot to say about what makes Ford Escape and Bronco Sport part of the SUV lineup that leads in brand loyalty. But in the Midwest, words don't hold much weight. What really matters is what your SUV can do. On the go, in the city, and off the beaten path. Get an SUV that lives up to the claims. Ford SUVs are made for the real world. This is Chief's Kingdom. Get 3.9% financing for 66 months on a 2023 Ford Bronco Sport. Official SUV of the Kansas City Chiefs. At Mission, we're able to offer patients an environment that is cutting edge, collaborative. The great multidisciplinary team approach to cancer care can save lives. Approach number one is to keep up on the research and to keep up on the science. Everything is changing with medical oncology constantly. There are new treatments and new cures where they're not only surviving, but really thriving after that cancer story. 
Get 11% off everything now at Menards. Update your garage door opener with Chamberlain. This chain drive garage door opener comes with Wi-Fi compatibility that allows you to control and monitor your garage door from anywhere. Now just $149.99 after rebate. Contain rainwater runoff and protect your home with new gutters. Choose from white, black, or brown in stock to accent your home's exterior. Aluminum gutters are only $10.99 each after 11% rebate. Save big money at Menards. When the weather is severe. Here comes a cluster of storms. 8 a.m. could be pretty active here in southern Iowa. Get the most accurate information with Local 5. Some frequent lightning, some very heavy rainfall with these storms. Obviously the wind, the prime threat that we're keeping an eye on. And when power goes down. Our coverage doesn't stop with the We Are Iowa app. Papanoos County in Centerville, some of the most extensive damage we've seen. We Are Iowa's most accurate forecast anytime, anywhere on the We Are Iowa app. Play of the week candidate number three, Kale Turner of Creston drops back to Carson Reich. Nobody's going to catch him. 80 yard touchdown. Creston got the win 50 to 21. Find out our winner later in the show. Fan of the game sponsored by Wyckoff Heating and Cooling. This week's fan of the game is different than any other we've had this season. Ben Greth is a senior team manager at ADM and he runs the team's social media and hopes to pursue a career in broadcasting. He's off to a good start. I've been doing this for three years and I've not changed a thing. Um, it's been one of the best three years of my life. I think college is a look at that, especially the Twitter part, and be like, oh, he's done this. That'll like help me get into something and it'll help me down the road. Well, that's awesome. If he ever wants to shadow us for a day here at Local 5, we are, we're always, uh, he's always welcome here. Yeah, he, he does a really good job running, running their social media. And Really great part of the team. Yeah, definitely. Well, it's time to take a look around to see which student sections were among the best out there tonight in our Friday Night Blitz fan cam. I know we had some good ones that I saw. This was the Waukee Northwest student section. Uh, looks like a blackout. Maybe they were loud and proud the whole time. And I love the guys in the flannels at the top there. And this was the, the Dowling student section. Uh, it was huge. This was the ADM band. I would say the best band I've seen this season. They were they were into it. They were doing it the whole game. That is ADM. They went like white, red, black, kind okay. of like a, one of those ice cream sandwiches <laughs> with three different colors. Good, that good is the Southeast Polk student section. Looks like just a classic blackout for them. And this was Norwalk, the game I was at. Camo out. Oh. They were loud. But uh, it wasn't a great night to be a Norwalk Warrior. Yeah, this was, I believe, the Roosevelt student section going with the neon theme. You can't go wrong with the neon theme. I see a lot of construction vests out there. That's always a good one. But if you had to choose your favorite theme of the night, who are you going with? That's a good question. I think I'll go with the camo out. Okay, yeah. Uh, that's always a good one. And even though there weren't many of them, uh, it just, just fit real well with those woods in the backdrop. Yeah. How about, how about you? <laughs> no, I, th I think that's good. I, I would say the Dallas student section was nice just because of the numbers that they had. I wasn't quite sure what their theme was, but it was just a nice aesthetic. They had some pastels in there, some white. I don't know, but I liked it. So make sure to uh, come up with some creative themes on the night so we can feature you guys in our Friday Night Blitz fan camp. Well, we got to see some several former high school standouts from our area on the same field last weekend during the Cyhawk game. Coming up next on Friday Night Blitz, we'll tell you about the impressions they've made on their teams so far. as we've ever been on the defense. Everybody on the same page. Win a national championship and win ACC. This Saturday, ACC football on the CW continues when the key debts of VMI go on the road to NC State to face the vaunted Wolfpack defense. VMI NC State. Saturday on CW Iowa.
Toyota. Let's go places. Chevy Silverado and Silverado HD, you can take on the mountains, or you can move them. With the power of up to 36,000 pounds of max available towing and the confidence of an available 13.4 inch diagonal touchscreen. Whatever your mountain, there's a Silverado for you. Get 0% financing plus make no monthly payments for 90 days on all Silverado 1500 pickups. Plus get 750 cash allowance on this Silverado. More Iowans drive Chevy. Looking for the freshest deals? Fairways got you covered. This week, USDA Choice T-Bone Steak is just $8.99 a pound. Dole or Taylor Farms Chopped or Premium Salad Kits are only $2.99. Tyson Chicken Nuggets, Patties, or Tenders are just $4.98 each when you buy two. Prego Pasta Sauce is only $2.99. Fairway Premium Orange Juice is buy one, get one free. Fairway, best at fresh since 1938. Dear Detour, when life slings you mud, sling it right back. Stay strong. Toyota Trucks. Stop by your local Toyota dealer to find out your trade-in value today. Toyota. Let's go places. Play of the Week. Sponsored by Taco John's. Well, we had some great nominees for play of the week, but there can only be one winner. And this week, that honor goes to Devin Akers from Ankeny. The one handed grab as that. he's falling down gets the PI call. I mean, let's slow it down a little bit so we can really just soak in the beauty of this catch. The level of difficulty here, the concentration. Amazing. Yeah. Take that catch without the PI, it's awesome. <laughs> Add the PI in there, that's, that's an even better flex. What a catch, congratulations, Devin. Well, last weekend, several former high school standouts from Central Iowa took Coming the field into the season, in the Cy Hawk Southeast. game. Some are beginning to show their potential as true freshmen, while others are taking a giant leap in their second year. Coming into the season, former Southeast Polk running back Abu Sama and former Ankeny quarterback J.J. Cole had a lot of people eager to see what they could do as they begin their college careers at Iowa State. During fall camp, Cole was competing for the starting quarterback job for the Cyclones. I think we all know that have covered this area or certainly know J.J. A lot of talent, um, a lot of great God-given ability, uh, a great passion for the sport of football, really great growth in spring ball. And, you know, I think he's really had a great summer. Cole saw time in the Cyclone season opener against you and I. While redshirt freshman Rocco Becht appears to have won the job, it's still early and there's a chance we could be seeing more of Cole later this season. His current teammate Abu Sama has also been vying for a starting job. Even though sophomore Cartavius Norton has been the primary featured back, Sama has made his case for being the other half of that one-two punch. We do challenge each other with like making sure we're running the ball in the correct um, spots and stuff, but I mean, he's a great kid. He got his head on straight and he's going to be great. Through two games, he's averaged almost five yards a carry and has the Cyclones longest run of the season with a 26 yarder. Over an Iowa City Hawkeye defensive back and former Southeast Polk Ram Xavier Nwapa is picking up where he left off at the end of his freshman year. He put on a stellar performance in the Music City Bowl against Kentucky where he had a pick six. This year, he followed that up with another interception in the season opener against Utah State. Nwapa is on track to have a breakout year for the Hawkeyes and his teammates have definitely noticed how far he's come. He's put on some pounds, gotten a lot stronger, uh, faster. I, th I feel like Throughout this past spring ball, I saw like the game was slowing down for him almost. Um, and he's, he's really starting to notice the, the little things. Whether they're already seeing the field or are waiting in the wings to show what they can do, all three have promising careers ahead of them. Well, after the break, we'll give out our game ball for this week. Let's find out which teams will be featured in our next game of the week. <laughs>
Peace of mind, as in no worries. Like when you sign up for Peace of Mind Plan service with Wyckoff Heating and Cooling. It's knowing your heating and cooling system will be inspected each spring and fall and will be maintained at its highest level. It's knowing that for less than $21 a month, the Wyckoff family will take care of your family. Peace of mind. That's what Wyckoff Heating and Cooling is all about. Wyckoff, for peace of mind under your roof. Visit WyckoffComfort.com. We could tell you all about what makes Ford F-Series the number one trucks in America for 46 straight years. But why tell you when we could show you instead? Because in the Midwest, talk is cheap and actions speak. On the lake, on the job, or on the town. Choose the trucks that deliver on the claims. Ford F-Series is made for the real world. This is Chief's Kingdom. Get 3.9% financing for 66 months, plus up to $37.50 bonus cash on Ford F-150, official truck of the Kansas City Chiefs. With summer heating up, now is the perfect time to cool off at Big Creek Marina. With 30 pontoon boats, Big Creek Marina is perfect for a weekend family outing or your next business excursion. Be sure to check out our kayaks and paddle boards or our variety of other boats for some fun out on the water. We have something for everyone. So come check out Big Creek Marina, open now through September. You know, they say that friendship can be a tough nut to crack. But if you're lucky enough, you can find a friend to pick you up. Lift your spirits. Show you the savory side of life. But then again, <laughs> I reckon that's Fairway in a nutshell. Because at Fairway, you're family. Game Ball, sponsored by Fairway Meat and Grocery. All right, well, this week's Game Ball goes to Javon Sanders from Lincoln. He was a man on a mission yesterday in their win against Des Moines North. How about this stat line for you? 220 rushing yards on 21 attempts and six touchdowns. Wow, he also set three new school records, total touchdowns in a game at six, most rushing touchdowns, also six and most points scored 36 that would outscore a lot of teams this week they call him j man and he was the man yesterday congratulations young man what a win yeah a great great win for them a great season so far for lincoln definitely much improved and that that was an all-time great performance there i think those records had been broken in, in several a couple decades i think so yeah those are long-standing records lincoln's been around a long long time those dmps schools yeah well let's talk a little bit about this week's game of the week it was good on good going into it adm versus norwalk battling it out so let's take a look at kind of how this all played out not exactly how we thought it would yeah, so ADM loses arguably their best player, Iowa commit Brevin Dahl, and you wouldn't even be able to tell. They just came out and ran it right down Norwalk's throats anyway. And they did it without Aiden Flora rushing for a touchdown in the first quarter. He still played really well, but typically you'd expect him to have three, maybe four touchdowns early, but they were spreading around the wealth. He threw for a couple, and ADM was impressive. Got to give love to their defense. Norwalk just was out of this game early, and that's the number two team in 4A that they just did that to. Impressive coming off of a, of a tough loss to Lewis Central. Yeah, I was just getting ready to bring that up. I mean, they played one heck of a game against Lewis Central, who we saw got beat by a Bondurant tonight. But, I mean, ADM is just looking really good. Aiden Flora is just such a threat. You know, he can use his legs. He can throw the ball. I mean, they are definitely a team to watch this season. Yeah, first year in 4A, and... They're a legitimate contender. Yeah. Nobody separated themselves yet in that class. Definitely. Well, with that, let's go ahead and tell the people which teams will be featured in our next game of the week. Yeah, it's the team that just beat Lewis Central that we talked about, Bondurant, Farrar, and Newton. So really impressive win for the Blue Jays. They beat Lewis Central, a team that won state two years ago, and Newton had a really good year this year. They're off to a 3-1 start, beat Marshalltown 45-0 tonight. Pretty close to probably half hour drive between the two towns district opponents. 
It should be a good one. And yeah. you get to watch Titus Cram. Yeah, anytime you get to watch him, it is definitely a treat. Newton also a program on the rise. Last year, they had one of their best seasons in years. So definitely, they're continuing to climb that ladder. But we are in the home stretch here on Friday Night Blitz. When we come back, Jake and I will put a bow on week four with our final thoughts. Get ready for college football in Iowa with Cy Hawk Game Day. Join Local 5 every Saturday at 1030 when we break down everything you need to know before kickoff. Cy Hawk Game Day goes beyond the game with in-depth analysis of the teams, the keys to the game, and our picks on who's going to come out on top. Join Local 5 every Saturday at 1030 for an action-packed Cy Hawk Game Day. Cy Hawk Game Day is sponsored by Nissan. This corner of the country, our corner, is ideal for growing many things, one of which has made Mid-American a national leader. Clean, renewable wind power, homegrown and harnessed from our very own backyard, generated from investments in wind turbines that help keep our energy rates low, investments that have created jobs, partnerships with landowners, enhancements to our communities, and have attracted new businesses to our state, to our corner of the country. The new 2023 GMC Sierra AT4X is equipped to conquer the great outdoors or the great indoors. Welcome to the peak of premium off-roading or get 0.9% APR and no monthly payments until 2024. Plus get over 3,200 total trade assistance on 2023 Sierra Denali 5.3 liter V8 light duty models. I started studying weather actually because of a love of maps. I am obsessed with maps. I love them. It started as a kid and it started from my dad. So we would get up on the roof and watch thunderstorms developing in the distance. And I would watch those like I was watching a movie. I was probably about six or seven and the thunderstorms would roll through and then I would just be captivated. So my love for meteorology started very early and I just kept to it as I grew up. Watch We Are Iowa's Most Accurate Forecast on Channel 5.5. All right, well, before we get out of here, Jake, what stood out to you most in week four? It's easily Pella going on the road and beating Cedar Rapids Xavier. Pella is one of the best programs in the state. They have been for a long, long time, but they struggled last year and they were yeah. just off to a one and two start and they go into Xavier, the defending champs and beat them. Wow. Yeah, I mean, talk about a statement win and one that can get you the momentum to kind of stack up some wins. I mean, that that is one if I ever saw one right there. Yeah, that that was one I didn't see coming, but congrats to the Dutch. You were much tonight. Yeah, that's that's awesome. Another game I thought was interesting was the Southeast Polk at Ankeny Centennial. That was a close one. Ankeny Centennial, I think even with the loss, still is kind of showing that they are a, a team to be reckoned with. Yeah, the Jags led a little bit in the second half. Nobody really does that in Southeast Polk's building. That's that's impressive out of the Jags. Well, and just considering how dominant Southeast Polk has been, it's no easy feat to kind of keep them limited. So, yeah, we'll see. Definitely another interesting week in week four, but that is going to do it for us here on Friday Night Blitz. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you next time. Friday Night Blitz.